the mans that has been calling the last two OCG ban list dropped some interesting news on us about Linked Brains Pack 3. Now your TLDR here, we're going to talk about every one of these possible implications on something spicy, and you guys will get to see the list as well. Expect these cards to be released in the TCG throughout the course of the next two years, because that's just how this works. Welcome to Link Frames Pack 3, potential spoiler, and we'll see if we're right. Let's dig on into this, shall we? Alright, so you should find your full list somewhere up in the corner here. Let's talk about what we could actually see off of this. Buster Blader. Buster Blader has needed a Link monster. Now, this could potentially push this deck over the edge. This one's interesting to me because when I look at this, the Buster Blader lock is fantastic. It's one of the best things ever. If we could get a card that could send a Destruction Sword from the deck to speed up the process, or the ability to recruit for a Destruction Sword, we could be sitting on something really broken here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let that sink in for a moment here. What do we really need to give to Buster Blader? I guess anything at this point is probably better. Um, maybe bu better Buster Whelp support, I guess. Yeah, some a little Buster Whelp Link 1 could be the, the right step there. So, I definitely agree with that. Like, that one makes sense to me. Now, Sky Striker is also on this list. I'm going to be honest with all of you. Everybody wants the light and dark Sky Striker monsters. Said no one ever. I mean, I would actually like to see them. I, I think it would be cool to see another Sky Striker monster. But based on how the community is going at this point in time, the community is very tired of seeing Sky Striker support. While I would like to see more as a player who originally loved the archetype, I mean, waifu, come on guys. You know how this works. You know, just because of the sheer stress. Um, but whatever we design, light or dark, or we could just see Ray herself, um, but adding another piece to the Armada, I guess we could see the Fabled Link too, but I don't even know how that actually works. It's supposed to be Ray changing through her armaments. So that one would be more interesting t for the most part. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. Tenyi needs better Link monsters. Um, I will say that. Everything that Tenyi's got going for it, you better throw something in this set. Like, looking at this list, this is one of the cards, one of the archetypes that has not been that... Well, so like, we got our support. It was great. But you're still missing four things. I know four is a little bit of a high number. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating that. But when I look at it, I'm like, yes, this deck still needs something else. So the Link, or Link Frames Pack 3 support for this, fantastic choice. I don't know what you give it, though. I'll be honest here. Um, why is this archetype not full of Gemini monsters? At least they're... Tenny should have been Gemini's. Changed my mind. We also have Abyss Actor on this list. So everything I know about Abyss Actors is we just play Curtain Riser and the other deck. Um, they need a way to trigger more of their effects consistently. And 100% everything in this is going to be a Link Monster. They they expected Electromite to be the generic support card across all Pendulum decks. But when I look at Abyss Actor, we just don't have that. Like, yes, you can Electromite set up, you know, do your scale things. But in the long run, where's... Where's the the card that draws my Abyss Actor support together? Where's the closing effect on this? And a Link 2 could just be... Link 3 would be too much for Abyss Actor. I think Link 2 puts you in kind of that safety zone that you need. I, I don't know if you guys disagree with me on that, but that would be great. Next up is Mayakashi. Yes! Do you know how bad Mayakashi need a Link monster? So far on this list, Mayakash, yes. All of the yes. Alright. <laughs> the fact that you force this deck to lock into Mayakashi effects, you've got four different synchros over here that all do something. Perfect choice, in my opinion. 
literally you're able to bring this whole archetype together and you could do it very easily with a specific Mayakashi named Link Monster. The downside is it's probably going to take a Mayakashi to make it, but you get the chance to get that interactive and support. You, Like I said, you have four synchros over here. You need to do something with those guys. They need it. So there's that. I like that one actually a lot. Now Mecha Phantom Beast, getting one of these, I think could be a little bit... I, you might be pushing it a little bit hard here because... If you allow it to be made with tokens, you're going to have an incredibly easy Link Monster to make. Literally, what is it, Hamstrat, uh, on some and make the token. It's the helicopter thing. But on some and make the token. If you make it so that you can't make tokens to use it, then you kind of, you lose the draw of it. But you got to be very careful to make a Venom Beast. If we make it so that you can make tokens with it, okay. Generic Link to my, my luck. Mecha Phantom Beast will probably be as simple as, hey guys, by the way, it's a Link 3, and you're just like, oh, yay, two monsters to make it. Now next up on this list, I, I think the most deserving deck here, and it's Bujins. You're going to have to give Bujins a Link 1. There is no other way to make this work. This will probably be our trap trick and our magical musket of this set. It has to it has to be a link one. It has to be a link one. They're gonna wanna play three of it. Because this deck needs dumping. You have to design a whole new Bujin card that you can link summon and just go. If not, the deck will fail. You have to give it literally the most broken link one that you possibly could, or it's just it's destined to fail. It's the unfortunate downside. Now next up on this list, you also see artifact over here. Considering the fact that Artifact only has an Xyz monster, and it's an Xyz monster that shuffles things back from the hand for the opponent back into the deck, or you get the ability to redirect a spell or trap card, destruction effect, uh, a Link monster isn't too much to ask for for this. But generically, it'll probably be a Link too, and it will probably have something to do with popping your own artifacts and your opponent applies an effect. There's that. Uh, we also have Preda Plants on this list. I'll be straight honest with you, they've dodged giving Preda Plants a Link Monster for the longest time. You have to be careful, because if you make this thing too generic, you're going to run across the issue of generic plant support's going to look to abuse this. I don't know how simple you're going to make it, but you have to give it Preda Counter Abuse, and you're going to have to give it a way to just interact with Starving Venom and things. Being able to banish her from the graveyard when you have a Starving Venom monster and give tokens might be a very good solution to that issue. Next up we have Melia, or, uh, Melodious. I don't know what you give this. Uh, the Melodious boss monsters, um, their protection clauses are very good. I just, I don't know what you give to this. A more consistent polymerization search, I guess? Like, I don't know about that. Uh, next up we have Endymion on this list. We do not need an Endymion Link monster. Especially, we already have Daybreaker. You have Electromite, alright? You want to give more to this Pendulum Spellcaster deck? Holy crap, you are mad lad. Like, this is dangerous territory. But I get it. We gotta do something. They need more. So, I don't know, but what do you make it do, though? I guess... I guess just more interactivity um, with your pendulum scales. Let's give it an Electromite effect. Uh, Ancient Gear is also on this list, which is very interesting to me. Ancient Gear, um, yes, the deck uses a lot of fusions, but they're one of the decks that just haven't gotten a Link Monster yet. Um, at this point in time, probably something to do with interacting with your Ancient Gear monsters. Um, maybe a built-in means to polymerization because the deck's always been about going second so something to buffer that would be great um, Simorg does need a Link Monster Simorg needs something um, when you look at Simorg as a whole you, you see this very frail deck and it's very frail but I mean you also have Dark Simorg so maybe an ability to banish from your hand and re-recruit from the deck might be enough I also see that we have a Union Monster listed here and my uh, my first question to you is a, B, and C are crying outside, but this could answer every problem that Union decks have. 
you could bring together an entire union-based archetype. Hi, ABC. ABC will be the one to abuse this. I'm calling this a year in advance. ABC will be the one to probably get this card banned, depending on how good this is. It's not that hard. One good card breaks ABC, and especially if it's a late monster and they all get to recruit. Absolutely. Uh, we also have Herald listed here. So we have Herald of Orange Light, Purple Light, we have the Ritual Monster. We need a searcher for this deck, something to spice it up consistency. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do with that. Longer. I don't have anything with that. Reptilians? Reptiles do need something. King of the Feral Imp was good. Um, you need to give something like King of the Feral Imps to the deck. Like, you need Search or Search or Kage to Kage interaction, in my opinion. Uh, reptiles also, I guess. Oh, well, yeah, Reptilians. Hmm. I don't even know what you give to that deck. Uh, they're probably straight. I also think this will probably have to be the other Link one. As much as I, I want Reptilian support to be better than it actually is. Yeah, you're probably going to have to link one that. Uh, X-Hero? Yeah, heroes need more. <laughs> Let's keep giving heroes more. <laughs> we haven't fixed all of our issues yet. More. Take it. Come on. And the last thing we have here is a Link Dragon. And it's listed as not sure, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. But what are we taking away from this? Yes, give Daddy's Bujin Link one. Give it to me. Mm, I'm so ready. Buster Blader and Sky Striker support, though. Could be good. Also, Mayakashi, by the way. But, what do you guys think about this potential spoiler list? Everything's rumored until it's proven true. I guess. Peace out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a Trouble Shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome Vanger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.